Hello people, this is Debs and Ishmael. There's been some added features to version 15 of WYSIWYG Web Builder since the last video I made and I would want us to take a look at them today. So I'm currently on the forum and I'm going to go to the news and announcement section and then I'll proceed to the teaser and then continue to the third page which has the new features which has been added. So starting from the top, the first um, feature is secure FTP support. Now this particular functionality is built into the application. Initially, if you needed this SFTP to publish your files, you had to purchase a particular pack or should I say extension, which was going to allow you to do that. But it's now great that it's actually been added to the application so that in case you want to publish your files using the SFTP functionality, you can go ahead to publish them right away. So that's a good feature in there. So the next feature is added the possibility to use wildcats and publish file types. So what this particular feature is going to do is that if you have, let's say, specific file types with a particular name and you want them to be published to a particular folder, this particular feature is going to help you to do that. Currently in version 14, what you have is when you come to tools and then you come to the options section and then you come to publish just this particular section. So that is what that, that um, feature is, being, um, is talking about, which has been redefined a bit and then allows you to publish files using the file name as well as the file extension. So that's another great feature in there. The next one is preview current page option and add, um, addition to preview entire website. So as part of you previewing your website here, let's just come to home. There's an option for you to preview just the current page. So what you have now is just the entire website, but you can also preview the current page. So that's also a cool feature in there. The next one is added um, PHP preview warning. So what this is going to do is in case you have a page which is a PHP page, so let's, so let's just say a page containing a form or maybe a, the login tools or MySQL tools and the rest, and you want to preview that particular page. Because you have PHP in there, sometimes you, you are not as sure that you are going to get exact thing that you are looking out for. So this is going to serve as a warning for you to know that this particular page is PHP and you're not going to get the results maybe you may be looking out for. So this is also a great feature to keep um, your heads up so that you know that um, after all, unless you publish to, let's say a domain or a server before you get to see what you be you're actually expecting to see. So that's a good feature in there. The next one is event. Another event, there's been added um, feature for that. if you are using events on a particular object, you get to select um, under target, you get to select self. Now this is a cool feature in the sense that initially if you are using event and then you needed to select, so let me just bring up a two in there and see what, um, what can I, let me just select maybe shape. So let's say this is, I want to apply event to this particular shape. I double click on it. I come to the event section and then when I hit on add and the target, I needed to select or specify this particular um, shape so in case i have a lot of objects in here i needed to go through them to select that particular object but in this case the self where you get to select um the self which is for this particular object that's the shape and then the event is set or applied to that so that's a cool feature in there so as part of the event there's now enable and disable which is going to be very useful in case you have forms in your project so that's um another feature features we have in there and then we have um, under animations and transitions we have some new animations which has been added as well as transitions which has been added which i find very cool and then there's one more feature in here which allows you to have option or the alpha value option where you get to um, select should i say make add some kind of transparency to a particular color that's if you are using transition so that's a cool feature that's what um, let me just show you this so in case I double click on this and then come to the CSS animation section and I want to add a transition. So the color here, now I don't have the alpha value here. So this new feature is going to address this particular um, challenge. So you'll be able to specify the alpha value as part of the color of your um, transition. The next option or the next feature is you being able to merge a particular group of animation so in case you've created your own animations and you want it to be as part of an existing animation you can go ahead to do that with this added feature 
and our login tools we have redirect to previous page so in case you want a user to be redirected to a previous page after logging in you get to specify by changing the option to true and then that gets working for you and then the next option is sign up slash password recovery so added php mailer support with smtp authentication to sign up and password recovery under normal circumstance using the the login tools you can use a flat file database as well as you can also use mysql but this particular option allows you to configure directly um, using smtp so whenever a user signs up everything is going to be handled by the, the the mail server which which doesn't necessarily require a database to take care of that so that's that's a great feature in there as well and then um, it says log out button added text alignment and then pattern property that's also another feature for um, the login tools and then we have photo collage so added six new animations that is going to allow you to move up for fly flip and a helix and then pop up so that's those are new features added to the photo collage let's take a look at the demo we have in here so these are um, so we have this just like you're seeing we have this as well and then we have this and then let me if you reload you're going to see the same things here so that's those are new features added to the photo collage here and then uh let me just go to the bottom so so you also have the enable lazing load option as part of the photo collage which allows you to let's say in case an image is going to take some few seconds it's done loading by the server or the domain before it gets to show in the browser so that's a cool feature which has been added to the photo collage in here and then the next one is um slide show added image accordion so you can have the accordion functionality as part of the slideshow that's more of an effect should i say an effect yes which is added to the slideshow so that's another cool feature let's just take a look at it here so as you can see you can um once you hover over the image you get to see a full version of the image which 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 i think it's a very cool feature in here let's continue and then we have um i think that's that's what we just took a look at the image accordion image carousel and convey belt um conveyor belt now have their icon their own icons in the toolbox for a quick way to add these features to web pages okay so what this is talking about is when you come to the toolbox instead of you maybe selecting let's say um carousel whatever with any of these options you get to see them rightly under the image section where you get to just click on them and then add them to the um your your project so it's easier for you to go about um having access to them as well as being able to use them as part of your project and then for um the carousel there's been a feature whereby once you click the carousel is going to pause and then it resumes the cycle when the mouse leaves the um, carousel i think this there's there's an implementation of this in a way where in case you have a carousel as part of your project and you click on maybe the next or the, even the pagination it pauses and but this one currently it doesn't resume unless you maybe refresh the page but this one is going to allow the carousel to resume the cycle once the mouse leaves it so that's another cool feature in there and then as part of it there's fade as part of the transitions and then also there's touch support to bootstrap carousel so in case you are you you, you decide to use the bootstrap um, carousel there's you and yeah yeah on the touch device you can actually um should i say navigate through the images of your carousel and then finally the frames that you have for images has been replaced with um standard css borders so let's just take a look at that case uh let me just see if i can get the image to in here select this and then once i double click on it and then come to the under effects um i think there should be under yeah so that's here so frame has now has now been changed to css um standard css uh, i think let me just take a look at that so this is um borders instead of the frames so as you can see these are the new features which has been added to version 15 of WYSIWYG web builder i'm sure there are more which are going to come out very soon so that brings an end to this particular video in case there are any more which which are a lot more than what we have here or maybe something like this i'll go ahead and then record a video on it and then explain some of the things which are we are likely to see in version 15 of WYSIWYG web builder 
So in case you are new, all you have to do is hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.